What's going on guys? It's Crazy Kai here and welcome back to another video here at my house. This is home base, home studio, home quarantine um place. <laughs> so guys, I wanted to make a fingerboarding video and as you can see this is my studio. It's not very big and there's not a lot of room to fingerboard, but I really um wanted to show you guys this amazing skate park that me and my uncle built um, a couple days ago and so what what we're gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna be giving you a tour I'm gonna be showing you guys how we made some of the parts as well as you know freaking like do a couple couple cool tricks you know trick montage yeah but anyway dudes um Make sure to subscribe, guys, for more fingerboarding content. I'm planning on doing much more fingerboarding kind of montages and challenges. So, yeah, just subscribe for that and comment down below any ideas. Anywho, I'm finally going to show you guys this skate park. It's right here. It is pretty big. I believe it's around 2 feet by 2 feet, but who knows. So, let's let's get straight into it. I should check that out. Alrighty guys, I'm basically just going to give you guys a tour, show you how we build these things, and, and after that we're going to just, I'm just going to do some tricks, and it's overall going to be a pretty packed but fun video. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, it's because I did, decided not to brush my hair today. It's quarantine, I can do what I want. So here's like an overview, you know, you got like a whole, it's a pretty thick piece of wood here. And it's pretty dang big. I mean, it barely fits in my room. So let's start off with the first thing we built, which is this stair set. It is a five stair. As you can see, it's stacked up. So this is honestly really sturdy. And to do this, you just need to cut up your stairs. You know, just cut up some stairs. And just cut up some support pieces. And uh, I just, we just glued it. That was my knee that just cracked. Ouch. And then just glue it all together and boom, you got a stair set. Also just, you know, make a wooden box. <laughs> and of course you need to uh, bend a piece of metal. This was a quarter inch pipe, or not pipe, quarter inch metal rod. And then you just bend it. My uncle was able to do it, like, just bend it with a thing of, like, pliers or, or benders or whatever those are called. And then we just stuck it in. For all of these, we used hot glue and not nails and bolts and stuff. So yeah, this is the stair set. Now let's get on to the ramp. All right, this is the ramp here. It goes from a mini ramp into a quarter pipe. Um, so you know you can drop in. And one of my favorite things to do is actually do a blunt. But you can actually, if you're, maybe if you do it like this. There you go. <laughs> you can literally just keep it there for however long you want. So yeah, that's fun. But probably the coolest thing about this is, you know, you can do your dropping. And let's say you're doing a blunt or a nose blunt or whatever. And you're doing your slide. You can slide onto this hubba right here, which is kind of like a continuation of these stairs. It's a very low hubba, and we did that so you can easily just slide on and do a trick or whatever off of it. So yeah, the mini ramp, the ramp, not a mini ramp, is made out of wood and cardboard. This is actually cardboard. We tried to originally make it out of wood, like thin plywood or thin wood. But it didn't work out, so we ended up just double layering it in cardboard. And it's really nice, it's really smooth. And this was probably the hardest technical the hardest technical project of this entire build. Next here is probably the pra more practical side. So let's say you're carrying this around to a competition or a park or whatever. And now here you have some storage. So you can like store things, you can store your camera in there. You really could just store whatever you want. Right there, that lighting was weird. The yeah. continuation of the uh, quarter pipe here, we have a little drop. This is an extremely steep drop. 
just look at this. When you drop, your like nose is just hits the floor. But this was not for practicality. This was just oh, this isn't for like actual looks or any like real skateboarding. It's literally just a drop, uh, just a drop. So yeah, you go down here and here is a little bit unfinished but i personally think this is pretty good on here we just need to like add covering right here but here is what i like to call the multi-purpose platform so you could use it as like a rolling off rolling off or whatever but it also works as this part being a ledge you know a nice ledge to grind on as well as a manual pad because what you can do is you know come from this way come just shooting off the mini ramp and you know get the you know do a manual and just go off so what says manual pad as a ledge and as well as just a riding platform and now we've done a full circle and now we're back to here now here is what I just call the random trick area you know you can just the wood here gives really pretty good pop so you can do whatever kind of tricks you want to practice or whatever, you know? It's a multi-purpose, customizable, well not customizable, but pretty flexible way. You could skate this in many different ways. Alrighty guys, so that was the entire skate park tour. And now we're going to actually do some skating. We're going to do a skating montage and everything, guys. You're going to love it. Oh yeah, let's get into it. I wanna see the light. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button if you did enjoy. And don't worry guys, if you are a fan of my Building a Theme Park series, new Building a Theme Park is going to come out sometime this week, so stay tuned for that. Also, if you like my OS videos, make sure to stay tuned for that too, because I'll also be posting more of OS. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, and it's a beautiful day to start fingerboarding. I mean, you're in quarantine, probably. If you aren't, then be in quarantine. But, you know, fingerboarding helps pass the time, you know? So, start fingerboarding. It's fun.